Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 70. First, the problem statement. You are working with a table called orders that tracks customer uh, customer order information with, the ha with columns having customer ID, order date and the order amount. If you see customer ID, uh, we have uh, we have customer ID 101, 102, and 103. So what it is saying? It is saying write a query to find each customer's latest order amount along with the amount of the second latest order. So what we have to display? We have to display uh, latest order amount and the second latest order amount for each customer ID. So for 101, what is the latest date first? So 20th March 2024 is the latest date. And what is the latest order amount? 180 is the order amount. And what is the second uh, order date? Second latest order date? That is 15 Feb 2024. And what is the latest, uh, latest second latest order amount? That is 200. So what this is what is asked in the output table. You have to write a query to find each customer's latest order amount along with the amount of the second latest order. Your output should be like customer ID, latest order amount and the second latest order amount. You can see over here, first we have the customer ID, then latest order amount and the second latest order amount. As we discussed for 1.1, .1, we found that 1, 180, 180 is the latest order amount and the second latest order amount is 200 rupees. So, so is the case with the, uh, uh, is the 1.02 and 103. You can see this in similar fashion, we have displayed the latest order amount and the second latest order amount. Now, let's switch back to SQL Server and let's see how we can do this in, in this SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So, let me fire select a star from orders. So, this is our input table. Now, what we will do? We are going to copy this selected statement and I'm going to paste over here. Now, let me copy what are the columns we need for this problem. So, we need customer ID. So, let me copy this customer ID and what other columns I need. I need order date. So, let me take order date. Okay. And then I need order amount as well. So let me copy order amount as well. Now let me run this piece of code. So now I have customer ID, order date and the order amount. Now from this data, I need to know what is the latest order amount. For that, I need to know what is the latest order date. So this is the 20th for this customer ID 101. We have 20th March is the latest order date and uh, for this what is the second uh, latest order amount that is 200 because the second latest order date is 15th february right now how to find this uh, among each customer id i need to find the uh, the latest and the second latest for that what i'm going to do i'm going to derive another column let me use row number function row underscore number and then i am going to use over clause and then i have to find uh, uh, i have to rank i mean i have to give the row number for each customer id right so i need to partition by partition by customer id i have to give row number for each customer that's why i am partitioning by customer id and we want the order date which is latest should come in the at the top so i need to order by order by order date in the descending order so let me close this bracket and let me give this as let's see rank and now let me run this piece of code so now you can see for each set of customer ID for 101, you can see we rank, we are able to uh, 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 
give a row number that is 1, 2 and 3 based on the order date. So 20th March is the latest order date. So we got the rank as 1 and the 15th uh, February is the second order date. We got the second rank. So similarly, we can find the same in the different customer ID as well. We are able to rank. Now it is very easy, right? Now if we filter out uh, uh, based on the rank, we will be able to get the latest rank, right? Now the question comes how to get the second latest. Now in order to get the second latest uh, uh, order date and the order amount, we will be using another function called lead function. So here we want the lead for uh, what column I need to have for order amount. And then I am going to again use over clause and then I will be using same partition by customer ID and order by date in the descending order. And we will give name as latest second latest order amount. And I will give this order amount as the latest order amount. Okay, let me place this one just above this for better clarity and understanding. Okay, now let me run this piece of code and see what result set we are getting. See, for this uh, customer ID 101, we have the latest order amount as 180 and the second latest order amount is here, right? 200 that I am pulling it over here. How? By using lead function. We are using a lead function order amount over partition by customer ID and order by order date in the descending order. So for each customer ID, you will be able to see the second latest order amount is coming over here, right? In the second column. For this uh, 103 also, 420 is the latest order amount of 400 is the second latest. So that is coming in the second in this column. So now our job is very easy. Now if we are able to filter out the records based on the rank function, rank is equal to 1, we will get our desired result. So now we simply will place this full set of records in a CTE, let's say CTE underscore orders and then open the bracket and let's close this and then I am going to write select what are the columns they want? They want customer ID in the output. Let's place this column. Now what the second column we want? We want latest order amount. So let's place this. What is the third column they want? They want second latest order amount. Let's place this. From where we want? We want this these columns from the CTE orders column table. So here and now we'll place filter where rank is equal to 1. Now let me fire this query. So, okay, I have missed out as over here, as and now let me fire this query. Here you go. You got the customer ID, latest order amount and the second latest order amount for each customer ID. So this is how we can solve this problem using row number function and the lead function and if you know by any other way you can solve this problem please do write in the comment section i will go through your solution and i will give my feedback as well so thank you thanks thanks for watching